today I'm going to be showing you how to make doubled eggs. Let me move some of the stuff out of the way so you can see how I make it. I'm going to move it over here and I'll show you what you will need for the ingredients so you can make it. Um, so, so what you will need, um, a hard boiled, what you will need is a hard boiled egg trail, tray, tray, um, if you don't have one of these, a plate would work. Um, but this is recommended. Um, you'll need scissors. You will need a bag, a plastic bag. You will need paprika. Mustard. Mayonnaise. Salt, salt, you'll need a medium sized bowl, a cutting board, a knife, and of course, hard boiled eggs. So I'll show you how to get started. So you're gonna wanna cut into your bag. And then you're going to cut them in half like this with your knife. Then you're gonna like with the inside of your knife. Oh, and you will also need a spoon for this. So let me go get a spoon real quick. Okay, you'll need a spoon. Then you're gonna scoop the stuff out of the hard boiled egg. Okay, then with your egg, you're gonna put it in your tray. Then you're gonna do that with the Next one, scoop it out and put it into the bowl. And then you're going to keep doing this till your whole plate or hard boiled egg tray is filled with the eggs. So I'm going to see you when I do that. So guys, once you're done doing that, you won't need your knife and your cutting board anymore, but you're going to want to smash these eggs up with your spoon. Smash the yolks of the hard-boiled eggs, and you can boil eggs if you don't have hard-boiled eggs. If you don't have them, you can just boil eggs for hard-boiled. And then you're going to have to peel off the shell. Then I'll tell you what you need to do next after you smush the um after you sorry guys it fell off the counter One second. there we go. 
you're just going to smash it up really well and um, when you were using the knife, make sure that you had supervision using the knife, unless you're a adult, which I don't need adult supervision, but I'm eight and a half. Um, but <laughs> but I still don't need adult supervision unless it's like a shoe. Super duper sharp knife, which that really wasn't. It couldn't even, it was not that good. It didn't even cut that, the plastic that the hard boiled eggs were in that well. Um, so it is a workout for your hand to get all of these eggs, um, smashed up. So it's it's my hands getting tired but I'm almost done smashing. It looks like scrambled eggs but they're not ready. <laughs> they're not ready yet because we're going to add some more things to it. Okay. Once you're done smashing that, you're going to take your um, mayonnaise and mustard and squeeze a lot into there. Like a lot, a lot. Then you're going to mix it in. You're probably going to need to add more. Yeah, and you need to taste test it a couple times. It needs much more. more mayonnaise than mustard. Yes, more mayonnaise than mustard. I can already smell it coming along. You can add more, but you can't take away any, so. That looks pretty nice. Now, time for the taste test. Mmm, it's pretty pleasant. Tastes really good. Okay, then the next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to take your bag and then put the stuff in your bag. Put it in. Make sure that you get all of the stuff. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get as much as you can into the bag. Into the bag. You're wanting to keep doing that till all of it's gone and all of it's put into the bag. Are you on this honey bunny? <laughs> I 
I'm almost done getting all of it out. Okay. Then no no one missed anything, huh? I'm just gonna stay away. Then after you're done putting all of it in, you're gonna close the bag really, really tight. Then you're gonna mush all of it, make sure that it's all ready. Did you taste test it? Yes I did. Did you put the seasonings in it? Yeah. I put mayonnaise and mustard in. Then you're going to put a tad of salt in there. And then you're going to mix it. Okay, then with your scissors, I'm going to move everything over here so you can see. With your scissors, you're going to cut a tiny hole in the bag. Then, then you're... Put them on the hard boiled eggs. Then they're gonna become doubled eggs. Okay. So. If it's a coin, I'm going to keep it. If it's a candy, she can have it. without me noticing so I'm putting it back into the bag because the bag popped open My baby sisters, I'm going to teach her how to make um, deviled eggs one day. My 
my baby sister's first Easter ever. Your hands might get messy doing this. Mine are pretty messy. Just a warning. And happy Easter, it's Easter today. So once you're done doing that, um, I'm gonna go rinse my hands off. So, Mama, can you pull up my sleeves? Because my hands are all messy. Oh, and I got some on my. You wash your hands. You wash that off. So guys, I'm just washing off my hands. Guys, so the next step of making deviled eggs is a paprika. The trick is you don't want to put too much or too little. So, carefully put it on. Okay guys, now that you've done the paprika, um, your deviled eggs are ready. So I'm going to go serve this plate real quick. Now guys, I'm going to eat one too. Mmm. So good. Yum. So guys, I hope you like this recipe. Please leave a comment down below. What recipe should I make next? <laughs>